Hello everyone, I'm Rachel from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library, and in this Tinker Shop tutorial, we're going to learn some Inkscape basics. So we're going to learn how to design and create a keychain that will be cut in our laser cutter. So let's get started. When you first open up the Inkscape program, you're going to you're going to see a square in the middle of your screen. This is known as your canvas. Anything you design inside of this canvas will be captured. Anything that's designed outside of this canvas will not be captured. The first thing I always like to do when I'm designing something in Inkscape is I like to change my document properties. This will change the size of the canvas. I'm going to go up to my file icon. I'm going to go up to my file menu. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to select document properties. A new window will appear. And in my display units, instead of millimeters, I like to click this drop down menu and click inches. After that, I like to go to my units and click the drop down menu and also select IN for inches. In the width and the height, I'm going to put in the dimensions of what I want my keychain to be in real life. So my width, I'm going to put in 2.5. I'm going to put in 2.5 inches. For my height, I'm going to put in 3 inches. You'll probably notice your canvas is now changed. It's a little bit smaller. It doesn't look like it, but in real life, this is actually 2.5 inches wide and 3 inches tall. Let's make that a little bigger. So next, I'm going to create the line. Next, I'm going to create the shape of what I want my keychain to be cut out of. We have a few options here over to the side. You have your square tool, your circle tool, and your star tool. Today I'm going to use a square tool and I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click and drag my shape here. You'll notice that there's little circles at the very top of your corners here in your square and you can click and drag those to make a beveled edge. So I'm going to make it a little bit of an oval curve shape, kind of a square in between. I'm also going to create another shape because this is where I would like my key ring to go through. If I want to move my object again, I have to go back to my first select move tool, this first arrow, and you can see now that there are dotted lines and arrows, and this will allow you to make it, your shape either bigger or smaller. You can click on it a second time and you can also rotate it, or if you just want to move it. So right now we see these lines here, and that is letting you know where the laser will actually cut. That's where the laser will cut along these lines. Now say I want to engrave something. I'm going to go now over to my text tool, click on it, and I'm going to click anywhere on the page. You can now see that there is a blinking line and that is your cursor. I'm going to begin to type, and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go back to my move tool now. also change the style of my text by going over to the right hand side and clicking the large T here and you can see a window opens and it's going to give you a preview of your text. There's also your text menus are up here and you can click through and select what font you would like your engraving to be. Once you find one you like, just click apply and it should automatically change your text. So what if I want to add in some images? You can do that. So we're going to import some images now. I'm going to go to Google Chrome, click on it, and I'm going to start looking for an image. Okay, I'm going to click on images. I'm just going to find one of the images I would like. So I'm going to right click on top of it. I'm going to click save image as. I'm just save it to my desktop. And then I'm going to go back into my design here. How do I import an image? I'm going to go up to the file menu, click import, and look for my image I just saved, click on it, and select OK. It's going to be a lot bigger, so you can zoom out. And I want to now turn this into a vector image. I'm going to go up to the Path menu and click Trace Bitmap. It's the third option down. A new window will appear, and right now I have my image selected, and I'm going to click Update. Then I'm going to click OK. It doesn't look like anything's really happened, but you have two objects now. One has a solid background behind it, and your other one, your good one, should be transparent. So I'm just going to click on the image we imported, and we're going to delete it. We don't need that anymore. I'm going to click on my taco, and I'm going to actually now shrink it down to fit inside of my keychain design. Now here is some of the important things when you're designing things for the laser cutter. How do I know that this part is going to cut 
And how do I know if this part is going to engrave? Well, that all those options and all those commands can be found under your fill and stroke menu. So if you go up to object, click fill and stroke, and you'll have a new window that appears here. You have three tabs. You have a fill, stroke paint, and stroke style. These all mean certain things when you're designing for the laser cutter. So a fill is the infill color of an object. If I remove this by clicking X, it looks like it disappeared, but it's still there. If I go to stroke paint and add just a stroke, you can tell now it's just the outer lines of your design. Now, the easiest way to remember this is fill is always to engrave and stroke is to cut. So I'm just going to remove the stroke because I don't want my image to be cut out. I'm going to re-add my fill by hitting the solid square. I have a fill and I don't have a stroke for this. Let's check my text too. So I'm going to click on that. There's no stroke. That's good. And there is a fill. Amazing. Now I'm going to click on my lines here and I'm going to make sure that they're ready to cut. So because cutting and they're only strokes, there should not be a fill. I'm going to go to stroke paint. There is a stroke. And now we have to put in stroke style, a certain setting that'll make sure that the laser cutter will cut these lines. Anything else will engrave. So if you go to the drop down menu and click IN, and it should be set to 0 0.001. If it's sent to anything else, the laser won't recognize that and it will try to engrave this. You'll just get an engraved image and nothing will get cut out. So I've just designed a keychain, but now I have to save it. When you want to save your design, go up to the file menu, click save as. I'm just going to title it. I like saving my SVG and Inkscape file. I like saving in another version. Click File, Save As, and I select actually this drop down menu and select PDF, Portable Document Format. The laser likes to still think it's a printer and it will read in that finished format. So save both of them. Click Save and click OK. So we're going to have a challenge. We're going to try to make a keychain as quickly as possible. And I want you to share your end results posted below. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start with a new one. Okay, 
all done. So I'm Rachel from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library, and I just went over some Inkscape basics with you on how to cut and engrave for the laser cutter. And we made a keychain today. Thanks so much for joining me, and you have a wonderful day.